Today we are answering a question many people are worried about. Which blood pressure number should diabetics worry about the most? The top number or the bottom number? If you have diabetes, high blood pressure is something you must take seriously because it affects your eyes, kidneys, heart, and even your legs. If you're new here, my name is Mira Bikono, a registered nurse and a certified diabetes educator. I share videos on diabetes awareness and tips to manage and reverse diabetes type 2 while still enjoying our delicious African recipes. If you find my content helpful and you're tired of depending on medication and want to take back control of your health, make sure to subscribe and join our community of everyday Africans transforming their lives while still enjoying our African foods. If that is you don't waste time hit the subscribe button and put your bell notification on so that you'll be instantly notified whenever i upload a video let's jump right in when you check your blood pressure and you see something like 130 over 80 or 150 over 95 let's break down what each number means the top number is known as the systolic number this is the pressure where your heart is pumping out blood think of it like water rushing out of a tap with force it shows how hard your heart must work to push blood through your arteries the bottom number on the other hand is known as the diastolic number this is the pressure where your heart is resting between beats think of it like this when water in the tap is closed and water is calm inside the pipe both are important but one is more dangerous for people with diabetes so for people with diabetes the most important number to watch is the systolic number and that is the top number why reason number one is because systolic pressure is more strongly linked to heart attacks and strokes. Diabetics already have a narrow or stiff blood vessels because of high blood sugar. So when the top number is high, the pressure damages the vessels even more. Reason number two, as we age, systolic pressure rises faster. Most Africans living with diabetes are above 40, 45, or even 50 years. At this age, the top number becomes the biggest danger sign. Reason number three, research shows that controlling the systolic number, which is the top number, reduces kidney failure and blindness. High systolic number damages the tiny blood vessels in your eyes and kidneys. However, this doesn't mean that the diastolic number is not important. If your bottom number is going above 90, it also increases risk. But for diabetics, the top number is the one that predicts complications more strongly. Now, most guidelines say diabetics should aim for a systolic number, that is the top number, between 120 to 130, and the diastolic number, which is the bottom number, between 70 to 80. Once the top number is going above 140, the risk of stroke, kidney injury, and heart problems starts increasing fast. If it goes above 160, my brother, my sister, that's danger zone. So you must take action immediately. Why is high blood pressure dangerous for diabetes? Let me break it down in a simple African way. Imagine your blood vessels are like small water pipes in your house. Now imagine sugar, which is glucose, is like small grains of sun. Over the years, the sun scratches the inside of the pipe. Then the water, which is the blood, starts passing with too much force. And what will happen is that the pipe will leak. The pipe again can burst or the pipe will block. That is exactly what happens to your eyes causing blindness, your kidneys causing kidney damage, your heart causing heart attack, your brain causing stroke, and your legs causing 
poor blood circulation. That's why diabetics must take high blood pressure very seriously. Let's talk about some everyday African habits that raise your blood pressure. These are things you see every day. Number one, too much salt in food. Maggie cubes, seasoning salt, smoked fish, smoked meat already contain hidden salt. Eating late at night. When you eat at night, your body becomes stressed and your sugar and blood pressure rises. Overthinking and stress. African parents will say, small thing, you are stressed. But stress is a silent killer. Fried foods and too much oil, they block your blood vessels. Abdominal fat or belly fat. This is the biggest cause of high blood pressure in diabetics belly fat. Now let's talk about some simple African friendly tips to control your systolic pressure. The first thing is for you to eat more vegetables daily. Vegetables like ndole, bitter leaf, pumpkin leaves, cocoa yam leaves, ogu, okra, cabbage, garden eggs, and many other green vegetables. These vegetables relax your blood vessels. The second thing is for you to reduce the salt in your food. Use natural spices instead of salt, garlic, ginger, onion, rosemary, thyme, curry, and even black pepper. Thirdly, walk 20 to 30 minutes daily. Walking is one of the fastest ways to lower your systolic pressure. The fourth thing is for you to drink enough water. Dehydration increases your pressure. Number five, loose belly fat. This alone can drop your blood pressure by 10 to 15 points. Number six is for you to manage your blood sugar very well. High blood sugar causes your blood vessels to stiff, which increases your blood pressure. Number seven, sleep at least six to seven hours a day. This is because lack of sleep increases both your blood pressure and blood sugar. So for diabetics, the systolic, which is the top number, is more dangerous and more important to monitor. But both numbers matter and should be in a healthy range. When you control your blood sugar and blood pressure together, you protect your heart, your eyes, your kidneys, your brain, and even your legs. If this video helped you, please make sure to give it a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. Don't forget to download my ebook on how to eat African food without blood sugar spike. I will put the link in the comments and in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay mindful.